Welcome, friends and fellow collectors. You have joined me for an all-new Diecast Emporium review. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the new for 2022 Diecast Masters Transport Series 1 to 50 scale Kenworth T880 Day Cab Tandem and Pusher Axle with Heil Fleet Duty 9300 DT C4 Petroleum Trailer. Oh, let's all take a breath before we move on. The item number is 71102. I had a chance to preview this model and get my hands on it at the Matt's Trucking Exhibition Show in Louisville, Kentucky earlier this year. I am extremely proud and honored to have it here at my workshop and review table to finally do a review on it for you. All right, so the Heil Company is a new licensee for Diecast Masters in their growing line of licensees, and it has allowed DM to produce an accurate tanker trailer, and I'm excited to see what this leads in terms of future opportunities for the company. All right, let's get this thing out of the box. So if you've never had a Diecast Masters Transport Series model, obviously they come in brown outer shipping boxes. You cut one of the ends of with the sealer tape. Doing that unveils the model's actual box, which is a pull-out style packaging. So in the pull-out former, you do have a finger hole here, which does exactly as described. You stick your finger in it. But before we do that, let's admire the design on the packaging. Here's the Kenworth logo for the tractor, 1 to 50 scale. There is the Kenworth. Here's the Heil tanker. There's the long name and description of the model and the Heil trailer logo. Same thing on here. So the backgrounds for the transport series are always a color that represents the main OEM. So in this case, it'll be Kenworth red. On the back, we have some information about the real truck, and also above that, we have some pictures showing us some of the functionality. Finally, over here, we see some other Kenworths that are in the growing range of Diecast Masters 150th scale trucks. Okay, back to the unboxing. As I said before, stick your finger in the finger hole, pull out the packaging. Now, normally there are two layers. So the first layer on top, is this plastic former. Take that off. There you will see the truck and trailer in some black foam rubber. Because this trailer is chrome, it's gonna pick up every single fingerprint that you put on it. So my suggestion to you would be to have like a microfiber cloth nearby so that you can remove your fingerprints when you put it in your display case. That's the trailer. This is the tractor. Once you have done that, you are ready to display your model. All right, let's start off with the Kenworth T880 tractor first. As you can see, it is in a very striking and beautiful color of orangish red for the cab color. The wheels all have chrome hubs and look great. They are wrapped in a realistic treaded black tire. Here's what the chassis looks like. You can clip the drop axle up or down, whatever you'd like. And the wheels have different tread patterns depending on if they are driven or not. You do have chrome exhaust, which you can take the tops of them off if you'd like to. And as with all Diecast Masters Transport Series trucks, you can slide the fifth wheel forward or back to accommodate other trailers you may have in your collection. Here is the chrome grill, as you can see. It is also outfitted with some black dots inside to give the illusion that there's depth and indentation on the grill. You have a small tow bar here in black and the Kenworth badge at the top. Left side of the truck, more decaling is your Kenworth T880 at the bottom. The door latch is a separate piece. Chrome for your stairs. A blue filler cap lid right here on top of that black tank. At the back, we have a trailer hitch here, should you need it for something. More lights and the Kenworth logo on the rubber flexible mud flaps. Let's transition now to the details and decals on the trailer. Again, this trailer is the Heil Tanker trailer and it is absolutely gorgeous. You can see a mirror reflection style finish on it. You have your DOT striping all throughout here as well. These cabinets do open on this side. So if you do have some small accessories, you could point them in there, such as if you have some 3D printed cones, you can maybe place them in there if you wanted to. Moving along to the front, here is your access stairs. Again, more lights and details, some decaling here. The Heil logo is up on top. Also, another nice thing that you can do is you can print off or make your own decals for the placard 
depending on what you want this tanker trailer to carry in terms of a hazardous material. On this side, the features do not stop. We have an opening fire extinguisher cabinet here with the detailed fire extinguisher inside. Moving along, more chrome wheels, detailed black tires, and it doesn't stop with the incredible detail on the back of the machine either. More lights, the Heil logo, and flexible white rubber mud flaps. Taking a look underneath is arguably the most impressive part of this trailer. You can see all of the individual piping work that goes the duration of the trailer. You have your landing legs, which can be adjusted whether you want the trailer to stay by itself, or you can take these out and put the smaller ones in, or just leave them out as you see here if you want the trailer to sit behind a truck. Speaking of, let's do that now. We'll bring in our truck, drop our kingpin into our fifth wheel, and now you have the truck and trailer assembled as it is designed to do so. As you can see, it's heavy enough that they travel well together. The truck part does have working steering. As you can see, you can also open the hood to see a detailed pack car motor inside if you wish to do so. Allow me to disconnect the trailer for just a moment to show you that. You can see the pack car logo written in white. We're not done with working features on the truck just yet. I mentioned that you could slide the fifth wheel if you wanted to to accommodate other trailers. Here I slid it back just a little bit and we can slide it back up to the front. Finally, you can open not only the driver's side door, but also the passenger side door if you want to have this truck displayed with some 150th scale figures. Okay, let's end the video by once again joining the truck and trailer together. You can lock it in by once again dropping the kingpin of the trailer into the fifth wheel on the tractor. And just like that, you have an incredible looking 150th scale licensed tractor. And now it's been years since in 150th scale at least, you have a new licensed tanker trailer. In conclusion, the 150th scale Diecast Masters Transport Series, Kenworth T880 Day Cab Tandem, and Pusher Axle with Heil Fleet Duty 9300-DT C4 Petroleum Tanker is a wonderful addition to anyone's truck collection, whether they collect 164 scale trucks or, like this model is, 150th scale. It is excellent value for the money, considering you get a Diecast Masters tractor and the brand new tooling for 2022, one of the brand new toolings for 2022, the brand new Heil Tanker Trailer. There are plenty of functionality aspects built into the trailer to keep it interesting, whether that's the landing leg combinations, the opening fire extinguisher, or the doors on the other side. It just makes this model a very, very appealing product for many. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll catch you in the next review.